What is the performance difference between RTX 3060 laptops rated at different TGPs? Stay tuned and watch this whole video without skipping any part as I take you through the jungle of different GPU wattages. With the release of the 3000 series Ampere graphics architecture, NVIDIA made it difficult for consumers by introducing various power limits for their GPUs. This meant that laptop manufacturers such as Lenovo, HP and Dell could design laptops with different power limits. The level of power is often referred to as TGP, or Total Graphics Power. Generally speaking, the higher power you can supply to your laptop, the more performance can be squeezed out, and this translates to more FPS in games. The downside is usually louder fan noise that comes with the physical limitations confined within a tiny notebook space. You can't supply unlimited power to your laptop without considering thermal and noise level of the overall product. The RTX 3060 laptop GPU is specified to have TGP ranging from 60 to 115 watts, and today we are taking a look at how much the performance can vary between different power levels. Before you continue, it takes me between 60 to 80 hours to make one of these videos available for you to watch. The video you are watching took me nearly 90 hours to prepare and benchmark all the games, plus an additional 10 hours of recording, analyzing the results, and writing the script. In total, I poured nearly 100 hours into making one single video. My video generally gets very few views, and the average watch time shows that most of you are jumping directly to the end results. I simply can't afford doing it for much longer as it doesn't make sense financially and also time-wise. I started the channel as a hobby project to help people in their purchase journey but has now reached a point where I really need all of your active support to continue building more content for my viewers. The best way to support me is to watch through the whole video without skipping any part and take a second of your time to like the video if you enjoyed the content. That's all I am asking for, let's move on to the test results. I tested six different laptops with various power limits, all of them has the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. A mix of different CPUs has been tested, with the latest chips from both Intel and AMD. I ran all tests using the game's native benchmark app, running in ultra settings at 1080p resolution. Starting with Assassin's Creed Origins, the game is a couple of years old, but still represents a fairly graphically heavy title. At 1080p Ultra settings, the Zephyrus G14, with 60 watts of TGP, expectedly scored the lowest result, pulling 58 FPS on average. Nearly 60 FPS in a AAA game is not bad but not quite as good as the SCAR-17, as the 115 watt version reached 38% higher average FPS. It was a similar story in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, though the results from the game's built-in benchmark at 1080p was a bit closer. Valhalla is the latest Assassin's Creed game. The difference between the lowest and highest average FPS was a mere 10%. 60 FPS is good enough to play this title, making the Tough Dash FX516 with a 4-core CPU a good option for gaming. There was a bigger difference with Far Cry 5. The SCAR 17 was a good 20% faster than the G14, both having the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. This game is optimized for Intel CPUs, so it wasn't a surprise to see the quad-core i7 in Tough Dash F15, edging out the 8-core R7 that sits in the G14. Gears 5. Both the G14 and the Tough Dash received similar benchmark scores, and it was a toss-up between the AMD and Intel version of the Tough Gaming laptop. Feel free to pause the video at any time to view the results. Horizon Zero Dawn was tested with the built-in benchmark at 1080p. 
With the highest graphics presets, there was barely anything separating the G14 and the Dash. The middle pack was fairly close as well, just a few FPS on average separating the three models. The difference between the lowest performing RTX 3060 to the highest performing GPU was 13%. Metro Exodus has a graphically demanding benchmark, and only the SCAR 17 could separate itself from the rest of the pack. In RDR2, the difference between the 60 watt RTX 3060 to the 115 watt version was again measured to 20%. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, this was the only game where the 35 watt quad core i7 in the Tough Dash laptop was CPU bottlenecked. Amongst the rest of the laptops, the average result was fairly even, with the SCAR 17 on top of the leaderboard. Total War 3 Kingdoms. This title is playable on all laptops including the G14. Average FPS was fairly close amongst all laptops with the exception of the SCAR 17. Same story repeated itself in Troy, a Total War saga. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 was the final game tested. 22% difference in average FPS in this case between the highest and the lowest result. Summarizing the FPS averages, across the 12 games tested, some interesting observations can be made. The laptops can be divided into three groups. If we take Dynamic Boost into consideration, the G14 and the Tough Dash laptop both capable of supplying 80 watts of power to the RTX 3060, shows the same performance in average FPS. This also shows Intel's strength to design a low-power CPU with high single-core clock boost, despite the CPU only having four cores. In terms of gaming performance, the 11370H can hold its own against its eight-core counterparts. From the group of 95 watt RTX 3060 laptops, there isn't a significant difference between Intel versus AMD, as both CPUs performs equally good with the games tested. The tough laptops show slightly better results compared to the Zephyrus G15, partially due to the higher TDP and TGP in both CPU and GPU. Our winner in the RTX 3060 laptop GPU contest shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. With a much higher power supplied to the graphics card, the SCAR 17 is a bulkier system designed for hardcore gaming. On average, it performs 18% better than an RTX 3060 system with 60 to 80 watts of total graphics power. I hope this video brought you some useful insight to the different variants of the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. A like on the video would be massively appreciated, and please remember, you are making an incredibly important contribution to keep this channel alive by sharing my videos on any social platform. Take care and hopefully see you again in another video.